Hi, Beck Mac here for Pops Art, and I am at Milani Gallery for the exhibition White Lies Matter by the one and only Richard Bell. It's incredible, it's epic, but it's also really beautiful and subtle and drives to a new place, I think, for Richard's work. But Richard will have the answers to the questions. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Good to see you. Now, um, we're going to do a little tour of the show for people who haven't seen the work, they can't access it. So, let's start with this one. Do you want to talk to, I mean, it's pretty clear, but what's your thoughts? Oh, well, um, I, I went to the Black Lives Matter march here in Brisbane, um, I think back in May or something uh, it was, um, and before going I had to you know, think about what... Um, you know, whether I should go, actually, like, yeah. and, and I decided that um, I could just wear a mask. You know, I can socially distance, and I should should be fine. You know, like, yeah. um, um, and I realised that you know, like, I couldn't do the same thing with the police. You know, like, I couldn't just wear a mask mm -hmm. and and stay away from them. They could still hurt me. You know, yeah. like, um, but and I came up with this. Uh, text here, you know, you know, police brutality trumps pandemic. You know, so I was more afraid of you know, police brutality than I am of um, the pandemic. Yeah. And of course, you could manage to get Trump's name in there as well. Like, yeah, they're power words, aren't they? In this moment in time, if you, you know, they're, they're ho that those words are just consistently running through our media. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, uh, the police brutality, you know, like, um, you know, took the pandemic off the front pages, you know, like, and um, Trump's been instrumental in that, you know, so mm. um, it's, it's a, a play on words, you know, that, that works pretty well. With it. Our background is you know, pretty um, um, trippy as well. Yeah. And what I love about this work is it, it really announces an emergency, and as you're saying, the emergency isn't the pandemic, it is the p police brutality, so it really amplifies that message. Yeah, well, I believe so. Um, and uh, it's the the text is is just right there. It just it, it jumps off the page, mm -hmm. and so it's very clear. You know, like, uh, the message um, that I wanted to come fr from that, yeah. along with other other works, are much more subtle. Um, um, the messages are very often pushed um, into the background. Yeah. Yeah. So, which one do you want to go to next? Um, well, message is um, you know, pushed into the background. Um, in fact, it's, you know, it's very difficult to, to see in the way that this is lit. Um, uh, like, uh, with just natural light, it's, it's much more easily read. Um, this one um, also refers to Trump. Like it says, someday I will be right. mean like with all your work like there's so many multiple meanings as well so it does it could re be reflected across yeah. other forms but I've, I'm just observing this work like there is this new uh, subtle beauty that's emerging from where you're at now in these pieces yeah, well, well like I had uh, similar th sort of things in um, my theorem paintings you know, like uh, either side of, of the paintings were, were on one side black and the other side would be white and um, uh, there was this kind of treatment yeah. in in those areas where you know like the the message wasn't very clear you know like you had to, it was subtle you had to uh, go in and um, and look at yeah. look at and look for it yeah. um, it was now I decided that I would do the whole painting in that particular style and th this is the first show that I've um, had multiples of of that um, of that decision. So yeah. now, is this the next one you want to go to, or is this the well, final the final word? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, you can. Well, you know, it's it's the final work that you see on your way out, um, yeah. you know, really. Um, and um, there's a lot of negativ negativity you know, in the the show, you know, like, um, and I wanted um, you know, there to be a, you know at least one positive. Um, uh, message to, to come through in, in the show and yeah. 
And this here, you know, yellow is the colour of optimism. You know, the target, you know, you can, yes, you can. You're like, this is just you, the viewer, you know. Yeah. So it's, um, it's a message for, for everybody who comes to see the show. And I think that's been a through line since I've known you about your work. Like, you do address really deep-seated um, problematic themes around, you know, racism and capitalism and, and the harsh reality of being uh, an Aboriginal person living in Australia right now. But there's always has been a real positive, like, it's back to you as the individual to get your shit together and get on with it as well. Like, and I think you're very um, supportive of people in that ideology. Is that sort of what, do you still have that sense about yourself? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, well, talking about um, you know, that kind of individualism, you know, like um, uh, these two paintings here speak to um, uh, the capitalism. You know, um, uh, like this one says, you know, racism is the symptom, capitalism is the virus. Um, and I push the, the text uh, back into the painting rather than, you know, coming off painting like the police brutality of Trump's pandemic. Um, it's almost behind bars itself. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but uh, yes, it, it does have that um, thing about you know, jailbird, you can say. Yeah. And this one here, th this is, uh, well, clearly you can see the, the text, you know, selfishness is a disability. Mm. Or, you know, well, selfishness, you know, is you know, a core principle of um, capitalism. So, you know, it requires people to, to, to be selfish, you know, whereas we got to you know, capitalism you know, through collectivism, you know, mm. uh, rather than acting you know, on a collective basis. So, um, you know, and this is autobiographical. You know, like, um, I, I know this is true because it, you know, it, it, it disables me when I get selfish. So. Yeah. I've got to say this is one of my favourites of this exhibition. Like... It is beautiful to look at, but it does really name the core of of that individualism that is driving so much pain in the world right now. That that sort of uh, avoidance of acceptance that it's you, sometimes it is about the good of all, and we do need to take our responsibility in that. And it does disable people from seeing the truth and making the right decision and working together. Yeah, um, it's become pretty clear to see, you know, that um, capitalism is a very destructive force, you know, like, um, you know it's, it's playing out, you know, through climate change you know, and climate denial, um, you know, um, the, with the successive greed, you know, the selfishness um, is there for er everybody to see. Um, and, well, the young people are, are fighting back very strongly, you know, and I'm very pleased to be able to sit back watching and support that. There's also underlying all this conspiracy theory that the idea of the individual having a right to do this and a right to do that and, you know, Trump's fueling that. So it's sort of like the core of that is selfishness. Absolutely, yeah. Like um, all this conspiracy theory, you know, like um, emerging right now in, you know, uh, in this time of uh, COVID, you know, uh, of global pandemic, um, it's... It's um, the worst possible time for uh, for it. You know, we should be, you know, getting together. You know, like the, the rights of the individual do not, you know, um, overrule the rights of uh, the community. That's just not true at all. Yeah. Never, never has been true. But um, it's it's been made true by capitalism. Yeah. And you're right. It's the last thing we bloody need right now. <laughs> <laughs> now there is a number of the the black works which have been um, a, a th right you've I guess created in the past. This one is really subtle, but at the same time it's so striking. Can you read what? Because it's as you said in natural light, these really ignite in a different way. Can you talk about what's this one? Oh, well, this is um, a, a painting, you know, a black painting you know, using flat black gloss black um, map of Australia um, with um, a, a satin black um, uh, in the text being in satin black yeah. you know, over top of the, the flat and, and the gloss um, which says the text says give it all black yeah. <laughs> and then you 
splattered the black gloss across it. So I'm loving this, like the splatter effect you've got going through them all because it's sort of like you put it on the canvas and then you sort of disrupt it all again. Yeah, well, um, I look too pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I try, try to take that out of it or, or, um, or lessen it just a little bit. And it, and it actually enhances um, the, the feeling of, um, about the paintings, you know, like, uh, like there's a bit of um, like um, chaos, a bit of um, wave particle theory like um, going on in, in these works as well. So. Yeah. And it's, yeah, kinetic and alive and, and as you said, chaos, which is underlying everything really. Cause, and just talking about um, black paintings, there's two more here. Uh, I started these um, uh, before I finished m my last show here at, in, at Milani in 2018. Um, and this was the first time these uh, two works had, be had been shown. Um, the first work I did, um, I finished for this show, was the black one that we just looked at. Um, but these, were, these two were, were the first ones uh, that were done uh, for this show. Um, uh, this little one here, you know, like um, there's a, a, a Bob Marley song called No Woman, No Cry. You know, like yes. Um, I, I took a, um, a, a line from, from that and changed it a little bit. You know, like, um, you know, if you, this is it, you know, everything's going to be all right. You know, I just changed it to... Uh, uh, everything going to be all right. <laughs> About a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. <laughs> You've got it, baby. You've still got it. <laughs> that, that's not a, a speech impediment either. <laughs> And talking about all white, White Lives Matter is the name of the show. And what, I mean, that is so fantastic on so many levels. You know, what it's saying, the way you've you produced it, like it's so dynamic and beautiful again. And it's got a beautiful um, bit of a almost holographic uh, sheen to it if you um, look at it from a certain angle. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the light is coming from, see the light's coming from up there, you know, it's hitting it there, so you can, you, if you come up close, you can actually see those, co the colours in there. Yeah. Um, in, in a home, it would, there would be natural light, and it would be all coming straight on, and so you'd be, you'd be able to see all these um, metallic colours, um, yeah. the, the soft uh, metallic, um, su uh, subtle, beautiful. He said it, folks. It's beautiful. <laughs> but, and what, you know, White Lives Matter, spot on. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, Did you go you punch the air when you got that one? Um, <laughs> no, well, uh, I will, you know, like, there's, there's the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, it's the response to it from, you know, the racist right has, has been all lives matter, you know, like, well, yeah. well you know, like, uh, actually, you know, the logic behind that is, you know, it's just clearly racist, um, mm. and uh, I just uh, was just had my thinking cap on and, and uh, arrived at, yeah. at this uh, this place <laughs> here, like, uh, because you're like um, the opposite to Black Lives Matter. You know, like uh, uh, so their way of thinking is you know, White Lives Matter. You know, but they didn't have the guts to say that, and so they said all lives matter. So, yeah. and you know, like, and that's a lie. So, it's white lies matter. I've got to say, it's one of your best yet. <laughs> yeah, well, oh well, there's more to come. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's another white painting, um, similar uh, color code and technique. What's going on here? Oh, the text here says surplus is the root of all evil. You know, it's an another anti-capitalist. Uh, yeah. Work that that seems, seems to be um, a part of the theme of, of this show is uh, you know, anti-capitalism.
Douglas, or you know, to, which which is not you know anti communist or anti trade. You know, like um, had there was many forms of trade, many in the economies you know, bef before um, capitalism, you know, and um, the capitalism seems to you know, claim every you know, aspect of trade. You know, you know, it's, it's just not true. You know, like, um, uh, there is many different kinds of system that that exist in the world today that you know, are just not paid any attention to or whatever. You know, all we're doing is looking at at the white world, you know, of ten percent of the world's population. I'm, I might be wrong there. But, you know, it's, it's, it's probably closer to eleven percent you know, of the world's population is white. You know, so and, and yet the way you you see it on on television and in the movies and that sort of thing, you you, you swear that you know white people you know, they outnumber every other bugger on the planet. And I think that's what's so. Um, Again, back to what I said at the start, like in your body of work, you've had that really positive um, inner move forward to, by e enabling yourself, you've enabled others to speak their truth. But at the same time, you constantly remind us of what, of what the simple facts are. And, uh, you know, with the, um, the about the dis you know, selfishness being a disability. And again, this, like it's, it's like we think it's almost like a mantra that we have to keep hearing because it's yeah. so easy to forget. But yeah, so thanks for telling us again. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well surplus, surplus is, is problematic. You know, like, um, you know, uh, who owns it? Who looks after it? You know, like, um, uh, what do you do with it? You know, like, um, uh, how do you protect it? All these sorts of problems come up. You know, uh, how do we distribute it? You know, and this, this, this sorts of things. So, um, uh, it may have probably not the root of all evil, but certainly, you know, yes, like, um, and uh, with capitalism uh, having such an emphasis on the market, yeah. you know, uh, certainly, you know, like, um, surplus, you know, is you know, um, the root of, all, you know, of most evil, yeah. for sure. Now, we saved this like you have been busy because already that's an insane amazing epic show but this is unbelievable breathtaking and so complex and so dynamic and it's sort of like i guess bringing all all your thing is this sort of like bringing everything together in one uh, it it, it kind of do, uh, does that uh, but that's um it, it was organic uh, in the re uh, Regards to, you know, how it seems it seems to be so all inclusive. Uh, uh, we have a pandemic. You know, like um, we we were basically locked in the studio. You know, yeah. so uh, we saw what was going on around us. You know, like uh, this is a, a composite of marches from and protests from around the world, um, and. Uh, all the issues that you know um, are really important to us ri right now. Um, so many of them are um, included in the, this painting. It's um, been very uh, inclusive you know, of, of you know, all the, um, the groups that um, face discrimination like, um, uh, in the world, that sort of thing. So. And it's also um, like you're an artist who is masquerading as an activist, is masquerading as an artist. Like it's kind of like uh, you know the ultimate statement about that. Would you say? Um, yeah. It, well, I've got a new body of work which um, speaks to that you know, um, uh, uh, figurative as, as well. Um, yeah. So um, I'll send you. Um, me a link. <laughs> yeah, send you a link to, to it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's um, like what what I realised in, in in doing it was that it needed a, a lot of signs, a lot of posters, you know, you know placards. Um, you know, uh, I didn't get a, a banner, but um, I was I was looking to take a, put a big banner up the back, but. Um, just uh, got away from me. I just thought, no, I think 
think there's enough in here now. Um, the, you know, we've um, covered so many different issues. You know, like um, uh, there's you know a lot in here, and you know, f you know for the viewer, you know, for this. Yeah. Say that when you're in the space, and that's why we're videoing this, is because so many people want to see this show and they can't make it. Like, yeah. you have the, you know, like there's like the placards on the wall, and here they are in action almost. Like, there, this is where they come highly relative to the progress of of humanity and politics and activism, like on the streets, held by people, and making a true physical act of protest. Yeah, well, it's a pain. <laughs> 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 uh, and, and it allows you to do those sorts of things, you know, like... Um <laughs> yes, it is a painting. <laughs> and finally, what's the... Where you're headed in the future? What's going on? Can you give us a little um, insight into what's up next? I mean, you must need a holiday. Oh, I had a holiday last year. Um, I will. I, I did have a break. I, I had a few days off um, last week, and and just started on the next show. You know, so Are you back in the studio? Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, well, well, there's paintings to be painted. Yes. You know, um, I will get back out there, and I, I'm doing more figurative paintings. I'm going to get. Um, Use images, you know, initially from the late seventies, early um, into into the eighties, yes. and maybe you know um, something from the early nineties, um, and then later on I'll do some um, uh, images from you know marches this year and last. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's always uh, wonderful to have a good old yarn to you and congratulations it's a, a spectacular show yeah it was it looks pretty good um, <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> um, there's, oh, well, there's a lot of subtlety in, in here um, and that's not usually <laughs> my strong point so and you did say the word beautiful and there is a lot of beauty here <laughs> yeah thanks um, it's, it does look um, does look great you know the uh, Josh and the um, staff have done a great job handling the, the show. Yes. I'm very happy, happy with it. Um, it's you know, um, we're getting quite a few people here. We had a good opening. I think we could only have about thirty-five people here, yes. but you know, it's, um, it just rotated. You know, people you know, coming and going. And yes. you know, it was really nice to see a, a, a lot of my friends you know, come through. Yes. You know, um, and catch up with them, even if it was briefly. Well, thank you so much, and just quickly, congratulations on getting the Archibalds. Well, Julie Fragar's portrait. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you're in. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's a great painting, though. I love it. All right. Thanks, Rich. <laughs>